If you want to have a horse that's going to take you on the road to millions, you've got to find a good one. A good place to start might be Glen Logan Park Stud in Queensland's scenic rim. This is part two of our Road to Millions series, where we're taking you behind the scenes of the highest grossing yearling auction in the Southern Hemisphere, trackside to one of the top 10 richest race meetings in the world, set against a backdrop of one of the world's most highly desirable holiday destinations, Queensland's Gold Coast. Welcome to the Dream Factory. This is Glen Logan Park Stud. This place has dominated the local racing scene in recent years and has been standing stallions for the past 25. General Manager Steve Morley is very proud of what they've been able to do here. Over, over the years we've had tremendous success here in Glen Logan Park, whether or not you go back and it's as the breeder of Savabeel who's been a breed changer and through to Mimi Lebrock, uh, born and raised and sold through here who won a Magic Millions herself. So we've had some really high quality horses go through our January draft. But the exciting thing is for Glen Logan is that I think that that'll, that'll lift up a notch or two you know, in the years ahead. Of course, if it was as simple as just putting one horse over another, we'd be all doing it. There's a process that needs to be followed to ensure what you're doing is going to work. When a horse is presented at the yearling sales, it's a product of everything that it's gone through from, that, from the time it was born till the day that it goes through the sale rack. The weaning process when, you, when that happens at around the six month of age and they're taught to lead, their feet are picked up, they're rugged, they're washed, they're hand walked, patted down, learn to trust every single aspect and that we are their friends. And you need quality people to do that. Shoa, Neville and Morgan are three superstars that Glen Logan will present at January's Magic Million Sales on the Gold Coast. First horse we'll go through on day one is a, uh, a rich enough colt out of a mare called Show Affection. He's a cracking colt, this fellow. He's a big, strong, robust fellow. He's the mare's second foal, and he's a three-quarter brother to uh, the mare's first foal who sold in the Magic Millions last year. Then there's the unfortunately named Neville. Oh, I'll tell you what an animal he is. Um, he's a lovely, lovely horse, and I'm sure that anybody that uh, has seen a photo or Vancouver in the flesh will See, there's plenty of dad in this guy. Morgan, who is lot 834, is a, uh, a prior to Dubai out of a mare called Morganza. And great depth, really good shape, fantastic hind quarter. Uh, he's correct, he moves well, he's just got a, a really strong look about him and um, he's a trainer's type of horse and yeah, he should appeal. Approximately a year after being born, they begin their yearling sale prep. They're groomed every day, taught to parade and to stand for inspection. They hit the walking machine regularly, they're rugged every night and fed a special diet to make sure they're looking their best come auction day. You have such a responsibility, like at the end of the day, you've got the product there of something that's taken two and a half or three years to get there. You have one opportunity to make a first impression and you have to have those horses out parading, being on their best behaviour to see whether that potential buyer is interested in it. Morley's had a ton of experience around horse sales and in particular, the Magic Millions. But come auction day, he says it's all about the confidence in your product. Originally when I started this, I don't think I would even sleep for the 10 days that Magic Millions went. I, I put so much pressure on to achieve a certain result every time. The reality is that the Magic Millions sale is just strong, so strong that if you've got the right horse, that buyer will be there. Whether you're an owner, a breeder, a trainer, a track worker, or a punter, there's no doubt that Magic Millions has brought an enormous amount to the racing industry here in Queensland. Without Magic Millions here, I don't know where we would have been. They've been wonderful for our industry for a long, long time. They create so much buzz and, and excitement. It's just grown exponentially so much in the last few years. You know, it's a $10 million race day. You need to be there. It's just, a, it's just a time of the year that everybody who's serious in this industry needs to be there. And if you want to get involved, it's the place to be. So Magic Millions drives almost 70,000 bed night visitors to Queensland, tens of millions of dollars to the economy and to Kate Page, Jerry Harvey and their CEO Barry Bowditch. They do a great job and it's Queensland's time to shine. 
RQ and the BRC are working to develop race meetings that support and grow the pathways and more and more trainers will be looking for their spot into that great day in January. So here's to Glenn Logan's Shower, Neville and Morgan. I can't wait to share their journey. Next time on Road to Millions, we meet the outstanding Queensland sire, Spirit of Boom, and find out more about his crop heading to the Gold Coast on Road to Millions. See you then.